Hi everyone, it's uh, Jazz again, providing an update on the transfer stories and gossip and wheelings and dealings of the mighty West Ham United. So I've just come back from my friend's um, daughter's wedding, Indian Sikh wedding, which is a mad affair for any, any one of you who've been in these like, unlimited alcohol and food and music. And so this is like day four, I think. So one more finale to go tomorrow. Anyway, yeah, hope everyone's doing well. Very tricky providing a feedback purely because we've had a good season, which I think hats off to David Moyes and the backroom team and the players, but we need six, seven players at a minimum to go into the following season with the equal optimism and ambition and good feelings to attack Europa and the... Uh, as well as the League Cup and FA Cup. You know, a lot of competition, a lot of fixtures coming up. And with this squad, we cannot do that much. With, oh, we need seven, eight players. And I think, I think OK, David's done well. We don't even know what, who our budget is. We don't even know who our targets are, clearly. Which, again, thanks to David, is is what we always wanted. But I think between us, it's caused a lot of fighting in-house. Because it kind of... It looks like, which I hope is not the case, that we're not after anyone because it's just so quiet. Um, and then we're guessing, oh God, is there more arguments between Sullivan and David? But yeah, so I just wanted to let you know who I think we should bring over the line because every day the stories are changing from, from the last video, which amazing response, amazing views. Keep following us, keep following the channel. Support the great work that the main guys of the channel, Duke, Milesy, um, who was the other one? Duke, Milesy, and <laughs> Ganja, joking, Gatesy. So keep following those guys. I'm a very small part of the channel. Help out as and when I can. We're hoping to do more different, different videos. You know, you guys love our historic hammer time and the preseason the boys have been doing. We'll do some live videos from the pub, you know, up front and then. I'm a season ticket holder, so are some of the other lads. We'll, we'll hopefully do something interesting and different as the season kicks off. So just keep following everyone, you know. They deserve all the support. Um, so I think, um, to start off with, uh, get David Luiz over the line. Free transfer, 34, based in London from, well, from Chelsea. Captain material, good at set pieces, got good passing, can play in centre mid, can play one of two centre backs at the back. One or three at the back, perhaps a sweeper. Good per 50, 55, 60 cats in Brazil. Get him in, no brainer, especially with that budget. Um, Andre, are you if he's still out? If he's still out there, bring him in. Got point to prove. Got caught up in all that negativity of the stadium. Got injured big time first game. You know he's a good try. He's a good player. I think he's been Swansea standout player the last couple of years. So bring him in. Can play up front, and one of the three that play in the four two three one. Kurt Zuma. Didn't realise how young he was. He's a beast. He's, he's he's 26. They want 30. We're we're pissing about at 15, 70 million. Get the deal done for 24 million. Job done. Next guy, get Prairie. I didn't want Lingard anyway. I don't think Lingard will be able to surpass that super form he's done for us, and we'd like to thank him for that. And he, I don't want to sign anyone who's still in two minds over where where his future lies. You know, and and that, that's up to him. Anyway. Get prayer over the line. Um, maybe 20 million plus another three, four add-ons. That should get that deal over the line. And then let's get... Um, let's get Abraham in. Let's get Abraham in. He, he's a Carlton Cole for me. Carlton came from Chelsea. Similar. Lot of potential. Just couldn't get in their team. And he, what a good servant he was. So the difference with the Abraham deal, because our, most of our budget is going to be blown on Zuma and Pereira. So... Get him in on what they want to pay, but we do it differently. We'll, we'll give him 30, 5 now, 25 later with add-ons that he can easily achieve, you know, if he's after player we think he is and they think he is. Um, and then the other controversial one is, do we go for Braithwaite? It's another 10 million, for, like second, third choice. I was going to go for that, but then the deeper I thought about it, I thought, uh, let's get... Um, Let's get Armstrong in from, from Blackburn. Um, give him 15 million. Give him, give him 5, 10 now and another 5 next season. And 
job done, you know. I think he's not the one to play 4-2-3-1 in terms of being strong enough to lead the line on his own physically like um, perhaps an Abraham or an Antonio, but he's got that Tony Cotty, prolific Danny Ings type, you know, and, and I don't want no injury prone players like Danny Ings. I don't want players who've got nothing to prove like Danny Drinkwater, people like that. I want, I want. Uh, you can say the same for David Luiz, but I think he's just, he's the only one I think he would just be good. The rest are hungry. You know, you've got Abraham, you've got kind of Armstrong, Pereira. they still got a lot to prove, you know. Kurt Zuma and people like that. So I think those guys are total 50, 60 million. Let's see what we can bring in. And don't don't forget, with the 25 committed up front for Abraham, 5 for Pereira, 11 for the goalie, that's 40, 50 million gone for next season as well. So we're committing 100, but that's the name of the game, mate. You know... I know we can't match Man City paying hundred million for one player, but having said that, and bringing these five six in, we still need um, a couple of full backs in the centre defence midfield. I know I like love Sanderberg, but it's just not going to happen. So that's the way it is. Yeah, yeah. Bring in, bring bring David Luiz, Kurt Zuma, Pereira, Abraham, Armstrong, 